While the election arc may have been the last arc to be adapted by the 2011 Hunter x Hunter anime, it was not short on significant changes made to the original story. And so today, I want to talk about all the most interesting changes I found that will determine once and for all whether the Hunter x Hunter anime or manga gave me the better experience. How's it going everyone? My name is David and welcome to the final round of anime vs manga for Hunter x Hunter. Let's dive right into what I believe was the most interesting change I found during this arc, which was with how the anime and manga differed in what Alaka and Nanika called Kilowa. Now what I mean by that is in the anime, Alaka referred to Kilowa as Onichan, which is just a cute way in Japanese to say that Kilowa is her older brother, and Nanika called Kilowa by his name. But in the manga that I read, it's reversed and Alka actually called Kilowa by his name and Nanika referred to Kilowa as its older brother. So when I saw this change in the anime, I was curious as to why this change occurred. And so I searched online to find some answers and it turns out that the manga that I read was actually a mistranslation by Viz and that's the 2011 anime actually had the correct English translation from the original Japanese manga. Therefore, it was Viz who made a mistake here of mistranslating this important detail about Kilo's relationship with Alaka and Nanika. And the worst thing about it was that this mistranslation went on throughout this entire arc, which made this an even weirder mistake to find. The next change that I noticed in the anime took place during episode 140 when Leorio was telling off Jing for not checking up on Gon when he was in the hospital. Now if you've been following this anime versus manga series then you would already know that the 2011 anime was a much more toned down version of the original story. And so this specific direction for the anime also affected this part of the story when Leorio was pointing at Jing and telling him to go to hell. However, in the manga, Leoriel didn't just scold Jing, but he actually flipped him off. This also happens to be one of my favorite differences I've discovered during this arc, because it was so unexpected and yet hilarious because it's something that Leoriel would totally do, and on top of that, this made me love this character even more than I already do. Another difference I discovered was that the manga actually showed the Hunter bylaws which was supposed to happen in the anime during episode 144. Now even though the anime did show the full set of bylaws back in episode 142, the anime never translated the entire article in English, and so only people who could read in Japanese would know of the full sets of Hunter bylaws since the anime only revealed pieces of the bylaws in English throughout this entire arc. The final difference I discovered which had a profound effect on which version of this story I preferred was the very last episode of the anime when Gon was climbing the world tree to finally spend some quality time with his father. So because this was the final episode that the 2011 anime adapted from the manga, I wanted there to be something special to cap off this story even though it still continued in the manga. And so Madhouse certainly delivered here by inserting flashbacks of meaningful moments from Gon's entire journey while he was climbing the world tree. Now I'll admit that this detail actually got me in the feels because it added a nice finality to this adaptation that reminded me of so many great moments during Gon's journey that meant a lot to me as well, which is why I absolutely love the way the anime wrapped up this arc. While the election arc may have been the final arc to have been adapted by the 2011 anime, it was still full of highlights and differences that made going through this part of the story once again so worth it. But while I still don't prefer the toned down direction the anime went with that affected some great moments during this arc, I still think the anime did it justice for the most part, which is why I will be giving 2 points to the anime and 1 point to the manga. Which means that the winner for this anime versus manga is the 2011 Hunter x Hunter anime. However, while it may seem like the anime won this contest, 
there is one more score that I have not revealed yet, which may be even more important, and that was the amount of episodes in which neither the anime or manga scored because I thought that the anime adapted the original story well. And that was 80 episodes that made the cut. So instead of looking at this contest as whether or not the anime or manga was a better experience, the scores that the anime and manga received simply meant to me that each format had made some differences in them that I preferred, but the majority of the time, I thought the 2011 anime adapted the manga very well, which is really all that mattered in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this anime vs manga series and learned something new about Hunter x Hunter as well, because I certainly enjoyed going through this journey again, and it has pretty much solidified why this is my favorite anime and manga series of all time. And of course, thank you guys so much for all of your support and patience with me as I finally brought this series to a close. And yes, I will see you all in the next video.